Hey guys, I went to one of my favorite uh, resale shops today. It's called Stars Resale Shop in Wheaton, Illinois. And I thought I filmed a great video for you. And then when I got home, I realized that 99% of it was in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but that's what happened. So what I thought I would do is start by showing you what I bought. And then we'll finish this video by looking closer in these two bags of jewelry that they say are broken and mismatched and each bag was $14. So we'll do like an unboxing and see if anything in there is, is wearable and not just simply broken and mismatched because I kind of looked around and I don't know, it seems to me that there might be some pieces in here that are not, you know, in that bad of a shape. So we'll finish off the video with an unboxing. But what, what else did I buy? I bought this belt buckle um, for $4. And I thought this was really nice. Let me open it up. I really kind of liked this belt buckle. You can kind of tell with me holding it just about how large it is. It's a pretty large belt buckle. So that was $4. Um, this brooch, which is kind of an artsy brooch, was $2.50. And I really kind of like that. And as you can see, that's a sizable brooch. And then, I don't know, uh, I may have overspent on what's in this bag, but I just couldn't resist. Uh, there were some really unique pieces here. So, all these clip-on earrings were $5 a set. So, I really liked this set. Did I just break it? Oh no, don't tell me I broke it. Yeah, I think I didn't notice. I think that was re-glued at one point. I could try re-gluing it. Um, Cause that's not loose and this one is loose. It might've even just come loose in me getting it home, who knows. And then I really liked, oh, excuse me, cat hair. <laughs> And then I really liked this set. Oh my, I really need to look at things closer before I leave a store. So I'm missing a stone there. Okay, maybe I'll find the stone to replace it with. Well, I'm not doing so great here, am I? Um, and then I liked these earrings. I thought they could be you know, bridal, bridal earrings. So those look to be in good shape. I got these, which I thought were really pretty crystals. So I didn't see in the store any maker's marks on any of these, um, but I will look at them closer. Now that I'm home. <laughs> um, I bought these just because, again, I, I like them. I thought they were a little different from the ones I have right now. So those seem to be okay. I bought these. Let's hope all the stones are there. Okay, so, oops. Well, you get the idea. Here they are, and I hope that's just something I can clean up. It's amazing how much better you see things when you get home and the lighting is better, and it's not crowded, and people aren't kind of, you know, pushing and shoving and trying to get at stuff. So I don't know, that might be a dam little damage. Not what I was hoping for. And these look to be fine. 
and these rhinestone ones appear to be okay. All right, so I paid, like I said, $5 a piece for these, and now that I'm home, I'm thinking I probably did well on five of them, and these three have little flaws, so not so good on my part. Uh, but I did find a little, not so little actually, a uh, little clutch by Patricia Nash for $12. That's brand new. So I was happy with that purchase. And maybe that makes up for some of this. <laughs> but uh, originally $49. So I got that for $12. That's brand new. The inside is just a a single pouch there's no pocket or anything like that but there is a little pocket on the outside and this is about I think seven no seven or eight inches it's a little bigger it's not like your standard uh, zipper on wallet it's bigger than that so I think it's eight inches let me let me do okay so it's probably seven inches I would say about seven inches and then six, about, about so let me just make life easier for me, huh? <laughs> Why make it hard when you can make it easy? So a little over six and what is this? This is, oh, almost. almost nine inches so that's kind of good um and then i got this candle and it was on sale it was half off today so that candle with the pretty pine tree no not pine tree palm tree uh was a dollar fifty so that's what i bought uh, now that I look at everything a little closer, now that I'm home, a few hits, a few misses, but I think overall I'm still okay with this purchase. So um, let's go see what's in these two bags. Okay, so let's see if that little smudge comes off. Yes, it does. And you know, I don't think this is bad. I think it's really kind of special that you can twirl this around and be sassy or sweet. So if anybody wants this, it is lightweight. Um, so if anybody wants this, that'll be $2. Okay, let's see what else is in this bag. Um, what is this? This, oh, that was twirled around there. Is this a bracelet? Yeah, but the, not so great. So I'll put this in one of my craft boxes. Okay, now I did see this <clears throat> through the bag. And of course, if it's a cat, I will buy it. <laughs> I'll buy it. Um, and it's missing the pin. So that's too bad, but I think this could be a nice craft piece. So a dollar if somebody wants to craft with that. Okay, we have a stretchy bracelet that has, oh, okay. Not such good stretch. It needs to be restrung. It's got a cracked uh, crystals. All right, so I agree, that's a craft piece. I'm gonna put that in one of my larger craft boxes. I'm not gonna sell it individually. Hmm, what do we have here? We have a tangle. Okay. Ooh, and something, I just, 
something just released a bunch of crystals. How much was this originally? We don't know. So this came out of uh, Stars Resale. Oh, I see. And then this broke off here, I guess. Right here. Yeah, I think, I think right here. So it just needs another, well, it doesn't need anything. It just needs to be put back in there and then crimped. Oh no, it needs an O-ring. Okay, so it needs an O-ring. How's the rest of it? An O-ring is not a big deal. That can be done easily. All right, so I think the rest of it looks nice. I don't see any broken crystals. This looks like a natural stone to me. I sort of like this. So if anybody is crafty and knows how to add an O-ring, and they would like this necklace, uh, that'll be $2. I don't think that's too bad. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this, yeah, this is missing a clasp, but the beads are really pretty. They're really nice. I have not run across beads that are quite like this. Um, they had it at the resale store for a dollar, so I would say a dollar if somebody wants to reuse these beads. I think, I don't know, I think they're either some kind of shell or they're plastic, but I think the beads are pretty. All right, that's missing a stone, so let's see if it's in here. What do we have here? We have a scarecrow that's kind of messed up on his hat, but the, the pin is okay. Um, and I think somebody who's crafty can easily fix his hat. So if anybody wants the scarecrow, that'll be a dollar. Shipping for everything <clears throat> is $5, but I will combine shipping across auctions, across, you know, dates of videos so um, you know just reach out to me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and uh, let me know which video you're purchasing from and the timestamp in the description of the item and uh, you know we'll take it from there so okay so this was a bracelet that's broken. I agree. The, um, the rest of the links are nice. So this can be repurposed. Um, so a dollar, if somebody wants that for crafting. This, I believe, was an earring. Let me see if in the two bags we have the match to that earring. Okay, we have a little piece of a chain that I'll put in my own craft box. Uh, we have a pin that's a bow. It's pretty fabric. Um, I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. So a dollar if anybody wants that. we have here I'm thinking there's got to be some missing rhinestones yep one missing rhinestone that's how it ended up in this craft bag um, if somebody wants this for craft a dollar or maybe it doesn't bother you that there's one rhinestone missing I mean really who's gonna look that close you'll know but the rest of the world may not know Okay, we have 
something. <laughs> we have, I want to say a piece of fruit. Um, a dollar, if somebody wants to craft with that. Okay, these are really pretty beads. Really pretty, they're heavy. I want to say they're natural stone. I don't know the names of the different stones. It wouldn't surprise me that that might be jade. And it needs, a, it needs to get this fixed so it can have a clasp. So not a major fix, uh, but if anybody wants this just for the beads, and they're lovely beads, $3 for the beads. They're really, really nice beads. Okay, we have a stretchy faux pearl that needs to be restrung, a dollar. Oh, we have another piece to that, other one. So now you really have something to work with. We'll keep that together. Okay, what do we have here? This is interesting. I want to say it's kind of heavy. And is this real shell? I'm not certain, but it kind of feels like maybe. I don't know. But if somebody wants to work with this and make it so that it can be used a dollar. Okay, these flowers aren't in the best of shape. And the rest of the pin is okay. I wonder if somebody can just put in some different kind of something coming out of the basket. Um, a dollar, if somebody wants to craft with that. I want to say these are, because this was in a separate bag, uh, within that $14 bag. So these beads, I think, are, some are loose. Yeah, loose beads. So if somebody wants to craft with that, a um, dollar. Again, same thing. If somebody wants to use these beads, a dollar. Okay, this is, is this another? No, that's not another piece to that. And what do we have here? Not much. Uh, we have a rosary that's sort of tangled into other items. And he doesn't look so great. I'm gonna put that I don't know, maybe I'll throw him away. He just doesn't look good. I think the rosary's probably broken. Is this an earring? Hmm. Okay, I think that's an earring. Nothing special. I'll put it in craft. And then I'll put the rosary in craft also, but if somebody wants it, uh, obviously as is, a dollar. What do we have here? Oh, we have an owl. His eye, his eye stone is missing, but again, if somebody wants to craft with him, a dollar. And then we have some odds and ends. Oh, what do we have here? We have an old watch. I know people craft with old watches. And what does that say? Halbrus. But if somebody wants to craft with the old watch, that's a dollar. Um, if somebody wants to craft with 
this piece you actually get two nice pieces with all the stones two nice flowers a dollar and i'm gonna put this aside for now all right so i mean not terrible it's only 14 dollars and we had we have a few pieces that I don't know. I thought were salvageable, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, what do we have in the second fourteen dollar bag? Let me keep the two piles separate, except for these little odds and ends. Okay, we have a necklace that now I'm thinking probably needs a clasp. Yes. And the beads are not bad. They're, I think they're plastic beads. So a dollar for the beads. We have, we have a bracelet that I think somebody crafted with already. <laughs> and um, let me get my measuring device. Okay, let's see the size on this bracelet. It's an eight. And I think it's fine. I don't see any rips or tears. So, um, a dollar. Okay, we have another necklace with gorgeous beads. Really, really pretty beads. I think there's still acrylic, I'm not sure. And there was a barrel clasp. Um, and this ripped off, I'm sure that can be fixed. At the thrift store it was 350 when it was intact, I guess. But these are gorgeous beads, graduated beads. If anybody wants the beads to repurpose this or fix it, that'll be three dollars on those beads okay what do we have okay we have another necklace and the clasp is intact and once again we have pretty beads oh but some of the beads are chipped But, you know, some are good. So if anybody wants to reuse these beads, a dollar. Okay, we've got white pearls, full pearls. Plastic, I think. If anybody wants to repurpose these, a dollar. Okay, we've got a necklace, I think, that broke, okay, the necklace broke, but it's got cool coins, so if someone wants to repurpose those coins, a dollar. I've already messed up my two piles. <laughs> oh well. It's okay. Um, again, broken necklace, pretty beads. Okay, the beads are kind of this smoky, I don't know, pinkish purple. If anybody wants to repurpose the beads, a dollar. All right, same thing I think here, yeah. So that broke. What kind of beads do we have here? We have nice beads. They're heavier. Are these glass? Not sure. And some of the beads are like roses. So if anybody wants to repurpose this, a dollar. Oh, what was this? 
this was nice when it was not broken. <laughs> it's it's still nice, actually. This was a Leah Sophia. And this is kind of what it looked like. Really pretty. So the stones look to all be there. And then these are, they, they appear to, well, I was gonna say they appear to be links, but because some of them are, are fused together. Oh, here we go. And some are not. Okay, so you have to kind of look for the links. So it has little links. If somebody wants to repurpose this and recreate a new necklace, um, that'll be $2. That's really nice. What do we have here? Um, like a religious bracelet. The beads are pretty. The charms are nice. A dollar. It just needs new uh, elastic. Okay, what do we have here? That's a pretty piece. I think it was probably part of a necklace at some point. But what's left is really pretty and can be repurposed easily. So if somebody wants this, $3. Oh, hold on. We got more of those. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that it for those? We have a whole set, I think. Yep. All right, so let's see what we have. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know for sure if these were all together, but I, I think they were. And it just needs to be restrung. Okay, we'll leave that like that for now. So we have three, four of these. We have four of these and five of those. So that kind of makes sense. I bet it sort of went like this. And they're all pretty and it looks like every individual piece is fine. And um, and then we have two in the end. I don't know, maybe we're missing one, but I think this can be repurposed. So instead of selling the one for $3, I'll sell the whole thing for six because all the pieces are beautiful. So the whole thing for six. All right, and what else do we have here? Oh. That goes in the batch, too. So that'll still be six. Okay. Oh, and another one. All right. Still six. Okay, what do we have here? This is another piece that was pretty. Pretty individual pieces. I guess it was a bracelet that broke. So if somebody wants these pieces or, you know, just fix it somehow, $2. $2 for the individual pieces. All right. What do we have here? So we have a queen bee <laughs> and a crown and a bee and a broken chain. All right, but if somebody wants the, the pieces and then make their new chain, a dollar. This is glitter. It's not uh, broken or anything. So maybe there was glass here on top at one point, but I don't know. I can't. I can't say for sure. So a dollar. 
Uh, what do we have here? We have an earring, and my guess is the other earring is missing. Oh, no. We have... Where did that go? All right, hold on. We have a charm. Two cute little bunnies. So if somebody wants the charm, a dollar. Oh, we have some odds and ends. What else? Okay, let's see. We have a bangle. It's heavy. It doesn't look too bad to me. I'm not sure why they put it in here. It has a mark. Okay, it was a Trafari. Is a Trafari. Let me take it off the bright light. I don't know, it looks okay to me, guys. I mean, maybe somewhere, but... I don't know, I think it's okay. I mean, not perfect, not brand new or anything, but I would say good used condition. So it is a size eight, and I would say $3 if somebody wants it. Okay, then we have probably a broken bracelet or necklace. It has all these pieces. They do keep together. So it looks like blues and blacks. Uh, if anybody wants this to repurpose, a dollar. Okay, we have more beads. Again, they kept them together. It looks like they just broke. A uh, dollar. We have some fabric, uh, lacy. So like this. If anybody wants that to craft with, a dollar. Oh, I have some more beads for that one necklace. Okay, so we'll put that over there with that necklace. Um, I don't really like this, so I'm going to put it in my own big craft box. Wouldn't feel right. Um, just selling that even for a dollar is kind of a, a spongy... I don't know. And now this interests me because to me that looks like it could be turquoise. I don't know, maybe not. And the clasp looks old. And it says STG. I bet that's sterling. Let's see. Wouldn't that be nice to find sterling in a $14 craft bag? Sterling and turquoise. Let's see. Yeah. That's sterling, all right. Okay, so we got sterling. I think it looks vintage to me. And let's see what's wrong with that. What was this? Was this a necklace? Or... I'm not sure. Oh, 
but uh, we have some sterling. I, I don't know. I think that's turquoise. I could be wrong. It could be halite. I don't want to damage it. But if anybody wants this for crafting, repurposing, recreating, I'm going to say $8 because I'm thinking that's turquoise. All right. What's this? It's just a pendant on a, a broken chain, but it's a fabric chain, so that can easily be repaired. And what does this say? Vintage America. Okay. So if anybody wants that, that's a dollar. What do I have here? I have some broken pieces, broken chain probably. Not in great shape. I'm gonna put that in my own large craft box. I have one of these, but it's showing wear. So a dollar if anybody wants to try to fix that. And then is anything here craftable? We have, uh, uh, this would have been cute when, we, when there was a set. We have a fish, a uh, dollar for the fish. Well, this is broken. This is a single earring. We have quite a few single earrings, pendants. I'm just going to put this in a craft lot. Or if somebody wants anything here, just uh, email me, opportunitythrift at gmail.com. And um, so I'm sorry the shopping video did not turn out, but at least we had a little bit of an unboxing. And uh, I think it turned out okay. So I will see you guys soon. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps the channel grow and I wanna grow this channel and with your help, we will do it. And I will see you soon guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.